Look at the coffin with golden handles. Is My name is Maliki McCourt and I am of Irish descent. I was born in Brooklyn and raised in uh, Ireland. I came when I was 20. And here I am and I've had a wonderful, marvelous, loving life in this great city of New York. I don't consider myself American, I am a New Yorker. This is uh, dedicated to my grandchildren. I got two of them here. That's Gus and that's Cole. The book is a humorous look at death and the absurdity of it and the abolition of the fear of death, I hope. My brother Frank was a great writer, an amazing writer. He got the Pulitzer Prize. And the only reason that I was asked to write was because Frank was so successful. I never thought of myself as a writer. I was in the acting trade for years. But it's such great fun. And can you imagine, I cannot imagine that they give me money as well. <laughs> and they put my name on a cover and, the, and, and my picture. And then people talk to me like yourself. <laughs> and here I am, a writer. I've managed to get 10 of them out. And just between us, I feel like an absolute fraud. <laughs> I don't, I think, what am I doing? I can't, talking to myself as a writer. This is uh, when I ran for governor with uh, on the Green Party ticket, I can it says there, in uh, 2006. I ran against uh, Spitzer and uh, I didn't, I did not win for some reason. I can't remember why, but uh, he got, the reason he won was he got more votes than I did. <laughs> this is the whole McCourt clan at a gathering for about Frank at, uh, at Frank's wake. Was that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we always have fun at wakes. <laughs> Especially if it's not your own. I love this room. We put up these bookshelves 50 years ago. And I always wanted, my idea of heaven was to be surrounded by books because we didn't have any when I was a child. And there was a library, but they, they were very restricted. So here it is. And I just love the warmth of that, all these words. Brother Frank never hit 80. My brother Mike never hit 80. My uh, brother Alfie never hit it. I'm the only one that has gone over 80 years of age. But it is absurd. When people talk about death uh, being the end of everything, I don't know. I, uh, but I know, I think what I'm going to happen, I'm going to die. That's me there, 1952, coming over on the boat. I was 20. Uh, as uh, I would like to be remembered, well, I'm not sure that, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter what, uh, what I want, what I would like, but it would be, it, would, it might give me an eternal laugh if I could say, he made us laugh. I think uh, a good, uh, the last line is, and just remember, when you stop getting older, you're dead. Well, I, I think it's great that he's here, you know, his, he's uh, one of seven, and to survive now. And uh, I'm just really glad to have him around. And the, the third generation here, my kids, seeing him, and spending time here in the house with him is a beautiful thing. It's just, a, it's been uh, so, it, when, when I see them talking in the morning, that's just really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom.